we've always had a special relationship with Mars. Humans wondered, are there any living creatures on it? Is it suitable for life? And if so, will humans ever be able to inhabit it? Well, it seems like we'll get all the answers very soon. In the summer of 2020, NASA was actively preparing for a really big event. It took place on July 30th when one rover with a small helicopter left Earth and flew in the direction of the Red Planet. That's how the Mars 2020 mission was officially launched. The journey took 203 days. In that time, Rover traveled around 471 million kilometers. On February 18, 2021, it landed safely in the Jezero crater on Mars. A few moments later, NASA already received pictures of the planet's surface. In a few days afterward, on February 22, the agency published the video of the landing. According to NASA, it's taken by several cameras that are a part of the rover's entry, descent, and landing suite. This is the first time we got such a high-quality video showing the last kilometers of the rover's trip. The amazing footage immediately became the hottest topic on the internet. Putting aside global problems for a minute, humanity was admiring high-quality photos and videos from another world that is yet to be discovered. At that moment, it was clear. We are witnessing another breakthrough that may forever shift our perspective about the Red Planet. Anyway, the Mars 2020 mission is obviously not only about taking photos and videos on Mars, although they are truly remarkable. The rover Perseverance and the small robotic helicopter Ingenuity have very bold goals. They are going to look for signs of ancient life. Besides that, the rover will collect samples of rock and regolith, which can be potentially returned to Earth during the Mars Sample Return mission. Also, there is going to be a testing of the technologies required for future robotic and crewed missions. Yes, you heard that right, crewed missions. The Perseverance will prepare the ground for future human expeditions to Mars. It will make some measurements in order to understand any hazards posed by Martian dust. Also, it will try out the technology of producing a small amount of pure oxygen from Martian atmospheric carbon dioxide. How amazing is that? But that's not all. Perseverance carries a little solar-powered helicopter called Ingenuity. Its main mission is to prove the possibility of powered flight in the thin Martian atmosphere. Yeah, it's not as easy as it may seem. The red planet has lower gravity, but its atmosphere is just 1% as thick. So there, it's harder to generate lift. But that's not the only challenging condition. The Martian surface gets about half the amount of the solar energy that reaches Earth during its daytime. So during nighttime, temperatures can drop up to minus 90 degrees Celsius, which can be crucial for unprotected electrical components. In order to fit in the rover Perseverance, the Ingenuity helicopter must be small. Now it's barely 50 centimeters in height. To fly in the red planet's environment, it must be light. So its weight is 1.8 kilograms. To survive the freeze of Martian nights, it must have enough energy to power internal heaters. Everything from the performance of the rotors and rarefied air to its solar panels and electrical heaters has been tested and retested in the vacuum chambers and test labs of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. The engineers really did a great and never-before-seen job. As Mars Helicopter Chief Engineer at JPL, Bob Ballarum said, every step we have taken since this journey began six years ago has been uncharted territory in the history of aircraft. And while getting deployed to the surface will be a big challenge, surviving that first night on Mars alone without the rover protecting it and keeping it powered 
will be an even bigger one. The performance of Ingenuity during experimental flights will help to understand if it's reasonable to consider small helicopters for future Mars missions. Flights would give scientists a new perspective on Martian geology and allow them to research areas that are steep or slippery for the rovers. At the moment of production of our video, the Perseverance has already spent more than a month on the surface of Mars. During these few weeks, scientists have spotted many interesting details on the received materials. Let's view them together and see what this badass rover achieved in just 30-something days. Pictures tell a thousand words. But wait, it's not the first time when a human-created object landed on Mars and sent us a color photo. So what's all the fuss about? Well, first, the place where the Perseverance settled. The precision landing technology was significantly improved. Thanks to that, the rover landed in a very interesting area, Jezero Crater. Scientists speculate that around 3.5 billion years ago, it was a 250-meter deep lake. Jezero also features a prominent river delta. The sediments in it can include carbonates and hydrated silica which on Earth preserve microscopic fossils for billions of years. Second, the quality of the received materials this time was on a completely different level. No joke, it has 23 cameras. Unlike the previous rovers, it takes mostly color photos. And now we'll show you the most interesting shots by Perseverance. This is the first photo taken by the rover after the landing. It was made by one of the hazard cameras, which is partially obscured by a protective cover. In the picture, we can notice the rocks and the shadow of Perseverance. But the next photo from the rover gives us a much better view. This high-resolution color picture was taken on the underside of the rover shortly after landing. Hazard cameras also took an image featuring the surface of Mars and one of the six wheels of the Perseverance. And here, we can see the first 360-degree panorama taken on February 20th by the navigation cameras, stitched together from six separate images. Just a day later, on February 21st, Master Cam Z took more detailed panorama, where we can notice many interesting details. In the distance, we can see a wind-carved rock. Also, this shot shows the rim of the Jezero crater, by the way, this panorama was stitched together on Earth from 142 images. Another picture taken on February 22nd shows us the area of the delta of the supposed ancient river. Yes, you can see it right in the middle, that raised area of dark brown rock. Indeed, breathtaking view. Now let's see what exactly Perseverance was studying during his first month on Mars. For the first analysis, it used the SuperCam instrument, which zaps rocks with a laser to vaporize small portions and study their chemical makeup. Here, you can see the first target of the SuperCam. The length of rock is about 73 centimeters. It was called Ma'az, which is the Navajo word for Mars. The rock was found to be basaltic. It contains a lot of magnesium and iron which is common for volcanic forms. So Ma'az can be igneous. Another version is that it consists of igneous grains cemented together in a watery environment. Anyway, nothing's clear yet. Scientists still need to do more research on the area with other techniques to get more data. The second target, called YIGO, was also analyzed by the SuperCam instrument. According to the head of the laser instrument team, Roger Weens, this rock shows signs of having water locked up in its minerals. By the way, new NASA-funded research that used data from multiple NASA Mars Exploration Program missions shows that between 30 and 99% of the water on Mars is trapped within minerals in the planet's crust. These recent studies challenge the theory about water escaping into space due to the red planet's low gravity. Okay, as you see, 
NASA has some mind-blowing visuals of Mars, and it feels like we are on the edge of big discoveries. But there's one more thing that we specifically saved for the dessert, and that's the recording of the sounds from Mars. For the next minute, we recommend you to use headphones. The sounds were recorded by the microphone of the Perseverance on February 20th, 2021. In the next set, you can mostly hear sounds of the rover. In the second set, the sound was a bit filtered to make the sounds for Mars more audible. You can even hear the wind. Congratulations, you just heard how the red planet sounds. By the way, it was the first time a Mars rover has been equipped with a microphone. Now, NASA regularly publishes more sounds from Mars. We'll leave the link to the recordings below. So, what's next? Now, the scientists continue to test the instruments. So there won't be any significant experiments until June at the earliest. Also, they are preparing for something really big, the first helicopter flight on another planet. Over time, the rover is going to deploy an arsenal of tools, such as a drill bit, a close-up camera, and chemical sensors. They're going to search for the signs of past life in the Martian rocks. For now, Perseverance has to drive to a suitable spot for the testing of the helicopter ingenuity. Most likely, it will be a rocky place not far away from the current location of the rover. After finding the spot, Perseverance will lower the helicopter from its belly, drive off, and take a video of the first flight. And that is going to be another historic event which we are going to witness very soon. We are so excited about it! And you? Share your thoughts in the comments! And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you loved our video. We'll see you next time.